Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to dive into the wonderful world of pop. Pop is actually a very useful English verb, a colloquial English verb, more uh, slangy phrase some might say, which means that you can do something quickly. And so today I've present, uh, prepared a little presentation. So we see pop in the middle and pop behaves a little bit like a phrasal verb and so it can be linked with other prepositions. So the verb is the pop and the prepositions are as follows. Let's go around in a clockwise manner. On the top we have pop down, then we have pop on, uh, pop in and pop by, pop up, pop in, pop for, uh, pop through. I wrote in the American short form because my little piece of paper was not big enough. Uh, pop into, pop off, and finally pop round. In the next slide, I'm going to go and talk to you about the different phrases or re. So let's look at the first set, uh, starting at the top with round. He popped round for a cuppa. A cuppa is a short form for a cup of tea. I'm just popping off. Uh, puffing off means to disappear, going somewhere quickly. Into. It popped into my head. And finally for the telephones, maybe you will hear in an informal way, I'll pop you through, meaning they will connect you with the person you want to talk to. So down. Just pop it down there, please. Uh, maybe you mean a piece of paper, maybe you mean a box. It doesn't really matter, the it can be anything, just pop it down, just means put it down there. On, pop your coat on and come with me. So put your coat on quickly and come with me, pop it on. Uh, in or by, pop in or pop by whenever you like, means you can come round to our house flat whenever you like. Uh, pop up, new shops are popping up all over the place. And uh, here in this slide, uh, in, I'll pop it in the post later. So in the post box when you walk past it or at the post office, it depends. Here as an extra tidbit, when you want to promise something or it's maybe a spontaneous decision, uh, we use the will form uh, for the future. So I'll pop it in the post later. And lastly, for, because it didn't fit on my other picture uh, just pop for a bottle of milk so if you need something quickly you've run out of milk let's say you can ask somebody to pop for a bottle of milk if you want to read the full list and uh, learn a few of these phrases with the German uh, translations too I'll put the link in the description below if you enjoyed this post maybe you like the book fun on Friday fun frolics and f-bombs this is one of my PDF books um, and of course it's all about fun English, fun phrases and uh, often or a few of the F-bombs towards the end of the book. Um, the link is in the description below. Thanks a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this little deep dive into the world of pop and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.